Good morning, it's the 14th of April 2010 and this is your Daily Outlook. US CPI and retail sales will be released today. Tuesday's trading failed to see the euro dollar make new highs following Monday's gains. The pair traded down to 135.44 from a 136.91 high on Monday. The risk aversion was brought on by uncertainty of whether Greece will choose to ask for the aid or not. Also, the market was uncertain as to whether the 5% rate package that was offered is fiscally sustainable in the long run. Also, it's important to note that each individual member state will have to fund the package proportionately to their GDP. The overall payment may cost up to 0.35% of EU GDP and risk arises with countries such as Ireland and Spain viewing this payment as an extra strain at a time when they are planning their own austerity measures. As the session went on, however, Greece attempted to sell 1.2 billion euro T-bills which saw extremely strong demand for the securities, indicating that market participants have embraced the package positively. The euro dollar subsequently rallied back to 136.65 overnight. In the US yesterday, we had international trade and import-export reports. Overall, the trade balance deteriorated to minus 39.7 billion. However, we did see a solid improvement in exports, which indicated a pickup in the global economy. The market has turned its attention to US CPI and retail sales reports today, the Consumer Price Index report is expected to show subdued inflationary pressures due to significant slack in the US economy because of unemployment and rebuilding inventories. A subdued CPI report allows the Fed to maintain its current loose monetary policy for longer, decreasing the risk of a double-dip recession. Today we also have the retail sales report which is expected to come in at 1.2%. There is hope that this report will vindicate consumer spending as one of the main drivers for US growth. The breakdown many, many analysts will be looking at is to whether improvements in consumer spending is coming through savings or borrowings. Two-year Treasury yields traded between 1.02% and 1.08% and the dollar yen traded between 92.56 and 93.40. Oil prices yesterday traded lower following the international agency's revision on future supplies. Today we have the crude oil inventories and the figures are expected to increase due to global demand and also due to China stocking up on commodities as opposed to US Treasuries. Oil traded yesterday between $84.31 and $82.47 per barrel. Currencies to watch out for the euro dollar and dollar yen. The euro dollar pivot point is at 135.75 with a preference to enter into long positions at 135.85. The dollar yen pivot point is at 92.95 with a preference to enter into long positions at 93. Today's calendar of market movers, US retail sales for March expected at 1.2%, US consumer price index, inflation for March expected at 0.1%, US crude oil inventories for the week expected at 1.4 million barrels, and consumer confidence for March is out, with previous month's reading being 80. Now on to equity markets. US equities closed positive on Tuesday with the Dow closing at 0.12%, and the SP500 at 0.07%. European bursts were negative on Tuesday, with the FTSE closing at minus 0.28%, the DAX at minus 0.32%, and the CAC closing down at minus 0.46%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was at 0.39%, and the Hang Seng at minus 0.06%. This has been your daily outlook. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.